right before the break, we showed you how my office went from messy to magnificent. And it is. <laughs> and joining us now, the brains behind the operation, professional organizer Molly Pesci and Alex Norton with the company Molly Organizes. Welcome. Good morning. Good and morning. Nicely done. Oh, Very thank you. Well, we, we loved it. It was so much fun to work on. Uh, fun for her. But yeah. no, okay, so let's talk about how long this took and how many garbage bags it so, took. So basically, it took us about six hours. Now, in all truth, we wished we'd had eight. Right. At the end, <laughs> at the end, we were like frenzying, you know, to get everything done. Um, and we probably took out, I think I counted 12 bags. And don't forget, some of it was garbage, but some of it went to Goodwill because we want to make an important point that when we're helping people organize, one of the great things about getting rid of stuff is donating. Absolutely. Right. And right. you did that, you know. Well, so. I, I go sunshine. Yes. I mean, I think that's one of my biggest problems and many people who are clutter queens is it's so hard to throw things out because yeah. you always think, oh, I'm going to use gonna it. I don't want to waste it. So how I'm do you change that, that mindset? Well, one of the things that I touch people all the time about, again, goes back to, first of all, donation. Yeah. Think about the fact that you might donate that book that changes a child's life. What if you donate a musical instrument and they become, you know, they're playing Carnegie Hall, that's because of you, all right? And number two, I think of getting rid of things as a gift to your children mm. and a gift to your grandchildren because they're the ones that are gonna sort these things out. All the little tchotchkes that you've saved over a lifetime, okay? Yeah. They're gonna have to sort them and get rid of them. And, and think about this, just because a friend five years ago gave you a sweater for your birthday doesn't mean you need to keep it for the rest of your life that's not their expectation i right. literally will keep it be like well no but i gave it to <laughs> oh, right. I, know. I know this oh, about you yes yes like, yes you know, yes, work together yes, work yes. But have you ever worn it oh no never. no no i don't My really friend like gave it, it but if they come here and i don't have it <laughs> that's right they're gonna do a closet check that's but right speaking of closets alex closets that's your that's I your do. thing i do enjoy a closet so what do you have what closets i do enjoy closet and I'll tell you why you know we always try and find a balance between both form and function mm -hmm. uh, with a closet you get to lean into the style a mm -hmm. little bit more um, you know everyone's wardrobe is such a personal reflection of themselves so yeah. we'd like to sort of highlight that in their closets um, and in New York City, especially, whether it's a penthouse apartment or a studio, closet space is always at a premium. Yeah. So little things, you know, swapping out seasonal wardrobes and specialty garments. Yes. You know, your big winter puffer jacket. If there's under bed storage, it's a great place for that in the summer. Slim hangers go such a long way yeah. in buying you those extra few inches. Um, but I also love the idea of keeping like a bag just on the floor of your closet for donations. Mm. So rather than feeling the need to do a big purge, mm -hmm. if you come across something in your closet that's not suiting you anymore, mm. chuck it in the bag and then periodically take it to your yeah. favorite donation place. The, the hardest yeah. thing with any project is just getting started. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, so one of the things I tell people, and, I, and I've taught you about this, if you're gonna clean out a closet, take everything out. Put on a, some great music, put on some TV show you've been wanting to hear. If you've got a drawer you need to clean out, pull the whole drawer out, walk out to the family room, dump it out, get a towel, dump it all out, and then put it all back. And yeah, yeah and you sort of have to lean into the expectation that you're going to create a little bit of chaos. That's right. But in the end, the result is going to be, you know, so much better. Well, I just have to tell you, the biggest thing that I really learned was using those bins and just separating everything oh. into, the, like, all the papers there and all the That's pens right. there. And, all, and that really helped to, like... We we, one of the things I always say, and we get overwhelmed, because mm -hmm. we'll walk into a space and go, how are we going to do this? Yeah. You just start putting like items together. Yeah. If you've got staplers, put the staplers, put the extension cords, put the batteries. And in everybody's house, you should know exactly where each of those things are. Right. And that makes you feel like you have more control and more organization. Right. All right. Alrighty. Molly and Alex, thank oh, you so thank much. You. you changed thank my you. life. Yay! That was <laughs> awesome. It was We're going to be right back. We'll be right back. <laughs>